Do you or have you faced any uh, significant challenges that deterred you? And have you faced someone that motivated you uh, to go the extra mile? Absolutely. And you're going to find this uh, so, so very, very respectful. Now, naturally, I speak Spanish. They speak English, but their native tongue, my native tongue. So let's say there's a situation where it gets escalated out of the normal, right? right. I will allow and I expect the Asian to express themselves in their native tongue to get it out. But I might misinterpret something. So I then accept, ask them, to then speak about it in English as well, as I will then respond to them in my native tongue to make sure I'm 100% clear, but also do it in Spanish to ensure that I am consistent in regards to my message. And so in the beginning, as much as I wanted to do some Philly motivation and things <laughs> that maybe you and I could have done in a work environment where we could be speaking with each other differently in regards right. to tone, vocabulary, or just goofing around, it, it might be offensive here. And even though I'm the boss, it just might not be the appropriate way to discuss it. So I had to learn, Soul Touch of being a, a guest here, that A, I need to once again respect their feelings in their native tongue, but then again, have to have them explain it in English as well to make sure they're consistent and that I can back up and double their end and my end, that situation. Now, if it's really bad and it's mm -hmm. a super code red, I'll bring in my floor manager to speak for me just to make sure in their home, you know, court advantage, their language, their expressions, that I could be properly represented. And, and that's probably the largest challenge I've had here in regards to in those sort of very unique and specific escalated situations when people are emotional to take three steps back to really calm down and to give you two plates of food so you can at least you know you realize that we're overlapping and i'm not going to miss a beat